My name is Alison O'Connor and at the moment I'm working for the European Space Agency which is based in the Netherlands. I picked the University of Limerick for a reason because it was a top five university and because it had um, an access funding grant which I really needed to be able to come in the first place. I studied aeronautical engineering for the first four years and in my fifth year I did a graduate diploma in advanced materials. I love what I'm doing, every day is different and that was something I was really worried about when I was in school, you know, I was thinking I don't want a job that I'm going to go to every day and do the same thing day after day and it's not like that when you work in engineering. It absolutely is as cool as it's made out to be to work at the European Space Agency. We do fantastic things every day and they have laboratories that deal with everything from designing to building to flying a satellite into space. There's definitely a sense that you're working to achieve a bigger goal. The number one priority is, you know, exploration of space. We do a lot of tasks like um, building satellites for communications and sending those into space and that's partly how we get our funding. But everything actually goes to achieve the bigger dream which is getting more and more telescopes into space so that we can see exactly what it is in the universe. There's a lot of crossover between what you learn here and what you need to use in the industry. Almost every course that I've done at UL has had direct impact on things that I do every day. I did my co-op placement at Lufthansa Technique Turbine in Shannon, in County Clare. I spent eight months there doing it. When I went to apply for other jobs, they did say to me, oh wow, you've got eight months experience, you know, that's really good. A lot of graduates coming out of school don't have that. And it was a real boost to me because when you're up against graduates from huge universities like Harvard or MIT, People will say, you know, you can't stand up to those at all, but they don't have eight months work experience when they're looking for a real job. I would definitely recommend people to look into aeronautical engineering. There's a lot of people, specifically girls as well, that are put off by the fact that it's such a male-orientated industry, but in fact there's actually plenty of jobs out there for women because they need to be able to fill their quota 50-50 men and women. So they shouldn't be put off by that fact at all. And then more people are put off by the fact that there's generally thought to be an awful lot of mathematics involved in engineering. And that is true to a certain extent, but I can tell you from experience that I was never good at maths when I was in school. I really had to work awfully hard to achieve the C3 in my leave insert, but all the work was worth it. And when you come to university, there's so much help available to you at UL. They have all those extra support systems and, you know, people are generally really willing to help you if you have difficulties with anything. At the end of the day, if this is what you want, go for it 100% and it will work out.